What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a working Siri proxy that actually just stopped working in the past few days. Apple has made some updates so I'm going to show you how to fix it for now. So keep on watching if you're getting the following error message. What's up? Sorry about this, but I can't take any requests right now. Please try again in a little while. So the reason basically that you are experiencing this problem is either because the Siri proxy doesn't work or it's because Apple has added a new token. It's called the set activation token and it is needed to connect to Siri and there is a way around it and it's pretty easy and many people on Twitter have verified that this works so I'm gonna go ahead and try it. The requirements are that you have iFile which is a free application that you can get on Cydia and you edit your inner system files and I'm going to show you how to use it. So once you're in iFile you should be brought to the directory of backslash var. If you aren't they're going to have to scroll and find it and click on it. And once you are in var, you're going to scroll down until you find the mobile folder. And then after you're in the mobile folder, you're going to go ahead and click library. And then you're going to have to scroll way down in the library folder. And we're going to look for another folder. It is called the preferences. And once you find it, go ahead and click on it. And there will be a bunch of files in this folder called com.apple. You're going to have to look for the com.apple.assystem.plist file. Now up top, just go ahead and click edit, and then you're going to select the com.apple.assistant.plist and move it to the trash. So after that, you can go back out, and there is one thing you have to do. You have to double click on the home button, and you have to delete anything that is currently open in your applications. Now you can actually go and open up Siri, and it should work. What's up? So there you guys go. That is a good fix right there. It works for most people. And just one thing, after you turn off your device, you may have to go through this process again, deleting that same file. So if it stops working after you turn your device off, then just go and delete it once again. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Tell me if it worked in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next one.